What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, back here with another YouTube tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to edit with Elgato Game Capture. So if you haven't watched them already, I made uh, two other parts on uh, how to record with Elgato. First one was about how to uh, buy and set up your uh, capture card, the second one was about how to use the software, this section all over here. And in today's final tutorial, I will be showing you how to edit your videos once you have recorded them. So uh, I went over this in the last video a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go over it again because it sort of pertains to editing. Uh, in the capture section right here, there's the video title, game, description, and tag section. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You just type in the title you want, the game you want, the description you want, and the tags you want. Now, of course, YouTube does provide this, or Twitch, or whatever you're uh, streaming or uploading to. So this is not required for most uh, streaming or uploading services, but uh, if you want to skip some steps, you can uh, do it right off the bat uh, before you start recording or streaming in Elgato itself. And from there we can head to where the real magic happens in the edit tab of our uh, software here. So from here you can see a little video, or not a little, it's a la rather large video preview of the game we have recorded. Uh, you'll see uh, on the side here, we can see the uh, files and the uh, actual video recordings here. We can scroll through them to see um, all the, you know, different recordings we've done. Uh, they give dates, times, uh, and of course the length of the actual video. And if you did give it a specific uh, title or um, game name, then you can search that in the uh, search bar down here, or go up to the files and uh, sort by uh, game title or level or whatever, whatever you uh, categorize them as. So to get started editing a video, you will go over here to the video section, click on the uh, piece of footage you would like to edit, and it will appear right here in the uh, video preview and in the uh, editing bar down here. So as you can see here, this is very, uh, very bare-bones editing software. This is nothing like uh, Final Cut Pro or uh, uh, Sony Vegas or anything like that. This is basically just a trim tool. But if you would like to trim, then you can use this uh, little uh, tool right here. Um, just go to the part that you would like to uh, cut. Uh, use our little split tool, and uh, it'll split the footage in half. Uh, from here, then, we can uh, move the mouse over to the trim spot, and uh, it'll show us this little icon if we move the mouse back here it will uh, delete footage and it will make the uh, trimmed section shorter if we then move it back it'll make it longer until it has reached its longest point if we want to delete that uh, section of footage that we've trimmed then we can uh, trim one side and then uh, find another spot where we'd like to trim hit the trim tool again and it will trim this little section as you can see here there is a trim here and a trim there from there we can select here and hit the little trash can icon to delete it so say there's like a few seconds of gameplay you want to edit out, then you can use this little uh, plus zoom in tool right here to uh, zoom in even farther, uh, down to all the way to uh, five seconds here. And we can cut out little tiny areas by uh, using the same process as before. So unfortunately there is not an undo tool. <laughs> um, hopefully Elgato will implement that in the future, but for now the best undo you can kind of make is to uh, say we deleted this and we uh, want that back, um, then we can... Uh, use the same tool that we used that I showed you before uh, to increase the length to then bring that footage uh, back. It should uh, go all the way to the original beginning of the film. So then down here we have the play uh, feature that just plays it at normal speed so we can see uh, what we've edited so far, uh, how the clips have been edited, edited together. If we would like to go through it faster then we can hit the uh, fast forward uh, tool. Um, if we want to go back we can hit the uh, rewind and then uh, if we want to go back to the beginning, we can hit th this button right here. If we would like to take a screenshot somewhere in the video, we can use the same button as in the capture tab. This uh, right here shows us how long it is, and this up here shows us how far we are into the footage. Over here, we can uh, mute the video if we don't like uh, our commentary or gameplay uh, gameplay audio. <laughs> we can just mute the whole thing. Over here, we can uh, type in a uh, title, and then if we hit the I, it'll give us even more information. Uh, it will... Um allow us to change the video title, the uh, game title, the game level, the configuration, uh, the description, and all the tags and stuff. We can also uh, set the thumbnail of the video. So of course you can do this all on uh, YouTube, except for of course game title, game level, and configuration. But this sort of makes it easier, it allows you to do it in Elgato, so you're doing you know all the editing in one place, you can set all the tags and stuff, and this will uh, transfer over to YouTube. So whatever you put in here, it'll show up on YouTube, or Facebook, or whatever site you're uploading to. So once we are done editing our masterpiece, we can head down here to the share section. From here we can upload our footage to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all the sites you see here, and then we can also download it straight to our PC. So if you want to continue editing on another software, or if you don't want to edit at all, if you just want to download your footage, then head over here to uh, the uh, download uh, file mp4 uh, 
icon right over here. So say you recorded um, some gameplay on Elgato and you're wondering where it is, uh, well you have to go over here to the edit uh, section and then down here to share and then you have to click on file mp4. And once we click on that it'll uh, save, uh, it'll show down here the processing bar, uh, how long it's going to take. If we go over to any of these sites it'll be a, a pretty simple process. Uh, and now it will warn us, this is a, a very uh, high quality um, gameplay. That's another reason to go over to the capture section and to turn the quality down because uh, sometimes YouTube won't allow you to upload longer footage onto YouTube because of the quality of Elgato. That's another thing to note when emailing it or when downloading it is that these are rather large files because of the quality of them. So just keep that in mind when editing and uh, when uploading. So I'm just gonna not, I'm just gonna ignore this even though the video is longer than 20. And from here it'll, uh, it'll ask us to uh, sign into our Google account uh, to upload it obviously. Um, I'm not going to sign in because I don't want anyone to know my Google account. And it'll also give us this, uh, this is very similar to the one down here, except it gives us uh, the account option, the category option, and the uh, private option. If this screen doesn't pop up, which it, it should for you, uh, if it doesn't pop up, you can head over here to add, and it should um, give you this uh, window right here, and if you want to remove an account, well, you just hit remove. So that about does it for uh, Elgato's uh, editing software here. Um, like I said before, very basic. If I were starting a career as a um, like Let's Player, um, or even what I do, <laughs> tutorials, recording, any um, any videos that require recording other software or games, I would not use Elgato's editing software. It's very good if that's the only thing you have, if you're cheap or you don't have any money to spend. This is a very viable option. If you want to make professional content, uh, most likely downloading, even something as simple as like Movie Maker, which is free, or any one of the free softwares. I personally use Sony Vegas because that is one of the best. If you are on a budget, then this is just fine, but of course in the future consider uh, buying something else. But make sure to keep in mind that this is very, very basic. Anything else I missed, um, be sure to leave it in the uh, comments down below. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, thoughts, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Also, video ideas, uh, any input I, is uh, very much appreciated. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and have a wonderful day.